Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the college cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a brand new defense that I think might be the best pass defense to use in the entire game. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, more offensive, more defensive videos, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, if you guys need more help or more money plays, you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. I'm still using the Sam Houston Bearcats in today's gameplay because I think they have one of the best offenses in the entire game, which I put out in yesterday's video so if you guys missed that I'll have links on screen at the end of the video for that if you guys want to check that out but it also means that I'm stuck with this team's defense which is probably one of the worst in the entire game and they also have one of the weirdest death charts in the entire game as they have a left guard playing defensive tackle a right end playing outside linebacker no speed at linebacker at all as I typically have to use her this 62 overall outside linebacker just to get any speed on the field the one bright spot is they do have some speed in the secondary with a 95 speed and a 93 speed cornerback but they're lowly rated too and and everything else here is just trash but since i'm using a tier 4 team i chose a tier 4 team to face and duke is a better team rated five points higher overall but at least i'm not playing a team that's rated 13 points higher overall like it was yesterday against oklahoma and this play looks pretty good it has two of my favorite defenses in both the big nickel over g which is the defense i put out last week and the 3-3 mint which is the defense i've been using pretty much this entire year but i'm going to use a very different coverage today as I usually use the cover three buzz match, which I find is one of the best defenses to use in the game. But if you watch yesterday's video, I showed how everybody in the college football community seems to be aware of the fact that wheel routes and slot phase destroy this defense as my opponent scored two touchdowns back to back. And this is just too big of a weakness. I don't want to watch for this all game because the one time that I don't see it, I'll be giving up a touchdown. But I still feel like matching coverage defense is the best way to go. And in that same game, I switched over to cover six and cover nine and got completely different results. As you can see, right here they completely bag it even without me being on top of that route and in that game he scored 21 points against my cover three but when i switched over to cover six he didn't score another point the entire game and this is not a coincidence because in last month's patch they reported that they made some changes to matching style cover six and cover nine plays to make them more effective and whenever ea typically patches something they typically make it overpowered which brings me to today's defense as i start off in cover three since i'm still kind of doing that from habit and i have success on the first drive but i have to start doing out of characteristic things like hard flatting so that i don't have to worry about the matching principles which isn't something that i typically do but it works out on the first play as we get a knockdown and my opponent decides to go for it on fourth and three so i hard flat again now we get a lucky animation as he tries to throw to one tight end but it bounces off the other tight end's helmet <laughs> On offense, I'm still using my Gun Trio Unbalanced, which is an offense I just made a video about two days ago. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have links on the screen at the end of the video for you guys to check that out. One thing I noticed about this offense is people like to try to man zero blitz it to death. So I found a play in the Z spot as this corner out gets open a lot outside, as well as this pick play, which didn't really work there. As I have to rely on a lot of adjustments as my opponent makes me work hard to get down the field. Before I switch to the QB slot options, this is one of the best plays in the entire game. Back on defense, I'm still using cover three with hard flats, but doing this is not a great look. As you'll see here, it allows the middle of the field to get wide open, and my opponent would have had an easy first down if the ball didn't sail on him. Nope. So as much as I like the cover three buzz Mabel, I think it's time to move on to a slightly better defense 
in the cover nine although this is not the defense that today's video is about and that's because this version of cover nine is not a true matching defense around the entire field as this cloud flat here means this is a non-matching cover two as you need a soft squat to mean that the entire defense is a matching coverage it does pretty good on this play though because there's only one receiver so since there's nothing else in the area he does turn and run with him but i know from experience that this is a very easily manipulated concept if he has more than one receiver on the side the matching cover four side though shows you why this defense is going to be much better as this outside cornerback looks like he's going to match this lower receiver before he realizes the corner route above him is coming into his area gotcha bitch and he baits the quarterback into throwing an interception on the very next play and now we're back to being man zero blitz to death so i go back to that pick play but the throw feels kind of dangerous since i can't see the receiver so i change my camera angle on the next play so i can see this corner route and he gets wide open for the touchdown so now up two scores, I go back to that cover nine, only this time there's two receivers on the left side of the field, which, like I said previously, makes this very easy to manipulate, as he just runs a simple post route and probably would have been gone for the score if he held the ball a little bit longer. I stay in it for another play, and the matching principles work pretty good, but this guy makes a heck of a play to turn it back inside around that cornerback and keep it a ball game by punching in for the score. Yeah. Back on offense, this guy's making me work hard for everything as he forces a third and long that we barely pick up with the running back. As he seems to be running the 4-3 even 6-1 and getting very good coverage while also getting a lot of pressure. So after I run to get to second and three, I try to hit the zig route, but he's all over it until I playmaker it up the field See ya. as he goes up the field for the score. But it's obvious that he's starting to play better defense against his formation. And back on defense, since that cover nine didn't work out too great last time, we're going to switch over to a fully matching cover six, which may look the same, but this soft squad here means the entire defense is going to match, and that means the entire defense is going to play that much better. As I still feel that matching principles are the way to go, you just have to make sure that the entire defense has matching principles. On this first play though, for whatever reason, when my opponent motions across his outside receiver, the matching cornerback follows that receiver. E, 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 E. Which means there's a very good chance that nobody's covering this outside receiver. So I switch over and take that away. And I was lucky that I did that because it looks like he was loading up for the one play touchdown. <laughs> This is most likely a result of using the coverage shell system as there were several patch notes yesterday regarding the issues that coverage shell is having in Madden and it's basically the same engine so it's probably having the same problems in college football. So I set it back to default hoping that'll fix the issue. The setup for this defense is easy as I'm basically going to use this outside blitzing defensive end just like I have in the cover three and after that I have my choice of either pinching the defensive line to stop inside runs or spreading them to the point where it'll basically help to stop outside runs as I trust that I can do the inside run defense myself. And if I slow this down, you can see how nobody is open. Pretty much every route is double teamed. And my instincts tell me to go across the formation of the outside receiver for whatever reason, as my opponent tries to throw over there on some sort of comeback route. How about new? On the next play though, he's running around a lot with his quarterback. So the second I see him leave the pocket, I push on the right stick and that allows this receiver to get wide open over the middle to get to about midfield. As he does a really good job of extending plays, but you can see right here, nothing's open. Unless he wants to take a check down underneath, which isn't him doing him much favors with this much time left on the clock. But since his coverage acts a lot like man coverage, he does have a lot of success with the comeback routes as that would beat man too before he tries to take off with his quarterback and run once again and we stop him for a six yard loss, forcing a long field goal before the end of the half as these field goals are just impossible to make. Back on offense, I'm trying to put this game away, so I go back to my verticals play, and I see he's running some sort of cover two hybrid, so we get this B receiver wide open outside. I take the check down and run back on the next play before I see that same cover two hybrid and hit that receiver outside one more time to almost punch it in, but from here I get a little bit too conservative, as I call a quarterback run on back-to-back -back plays before I dial up an out route against his man coverage, and that should have been a touchdown. <coughs> But we're going to settle for the three possession lead. Back on defense, my opponent still has not figured out a way to attack this defense as he has to resort to the double pass glitch. Got he. And I didn't even guess pass and the defense still took care of it. After that though, we try to hit that B receiver one more time and this time he was waiting for it. Oops. As we just go back and forth with interceptions, although he's getting a much better return. He tries to beat me with crosses on the next play. Gotcha, bitch! But it doesn't confuse the coverage at all as we get an interception that gets overturned by a penalty. What? No big deal, though, as he tries to throw it up outside of that receiver on the cover two side once again. Gotcha, bitch! And we're coming away with another interception. But I'm giving the ball right back as I just underthrew that pass a little bit. Damn it! 
and he's taking it all the way back inside the red zone as he's definitely winning the field position battle from these turnovers. But he can't figure out how to beat this defense so it's irrelevant as everything gets double teamed once again and he has to scramble for just a few yards. Before he tries to throw over the middle and the safety makes the play, making the ball bounce up into a sea of orange jerseys. Before he tries to beat him with another crossing route and I don't know why this team can't catch making him settle for a field goal to get it back to a two possession game. And I guess knowing that he couldn't move the ball against my defense made me get a little bit too cocky. So when I threw this next interception, I didn't really care until I saw him break it through all the linemen and score to make it a one possession game. God damn it! But I'm not gonna panic because I just have to make better reads. On the next play, I see a hole right up the middle. So I try to take it and this 0-1 trap play is absolutely dirty. As he tries to punch the ball out instead of going for the tackle and we almost take it to the house right here. On the next play, when I see only has one quarterback out here to my three receivers, I switch over to the bubble play, and he still almost read it to make another interception, but we punch it in instead. When I get back on defense, I notice that he's still getting that motion response when he motions across this receiver, and the only way that I found to fix it was just flip the entire play. But you can see on this next play that it still discombobulates the entire defense by the time he snaps the ball. And his quarterback makes an insane play to break the sack to get the ball out to this guy here who's just wide open over the middle of the field. We shut him out on the next three pass plays to force a fourth and ten and of course he threads the needle between three orange defenders on that play. Before the pressure finally starts to get through and save the day as we get a sack pushing him back to fourth and fourteen. But it's on fourth down where all the magic happens for this guy as it feels like I'm playing Doug Flutie or something. Yay! Oh fuck you! Fuck you, pal. And now I don't want to mess with this guy any longer as he seems to be pulling plays out of his ass left and right. So we run the ball a few times as I don't get near the animations that he does before we get a first down to essentially end the game. But when I see he's in man zero blitz, I want to take advantage of that one more time. So I put this receiver on a deep crosser and I finally figure out how to slide pro to pick up this blitz. Break yourself, fool. Taking a look at the stats though, we had twice as many first downs and twice as many yards. And when it comes to rushing the ball, he had negative 10 on the game. As his quarterbacks completed only 7 of 25 passing attempts, including 2 interceptions and multiple others that should have been intercepted. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see the offense video that I put out about this offense, I'll have that pop up on screen. So just click the link. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.